<laughs> so this was um, actually the layout for this is extremely easy once you know you get one of these made and you know all the all the layout was done with just the first setting and then adjusting the offset plate. So I thought that was pretty convenient. And uh, right, if you you know start making sort of this these sort of Chinese style chairs with splaying in both directions, then uh, I think one of these will be super useful. One of these and one of these. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, future project. Let's see. So this is just a small version of the single tenon for demonstration purposes. The traditionally these we make with double tenons. I mean there are single tenon ones, but double tenons they look better because they're gonna stick out the top like this. And they're actually uh, yeah, there are a variety of double tenons that you can do. So hopefully in the future we'll make a chair. And I'll take you through the steps of how to make this, how to make, make measurements, and how to put the uh, supports, the horizontal supports on these. But today, I just wanted to focus on showing you how to use the offset plate and the marking gauge here. So I hope you enjoy the video. So I've got this one inch block here. It um, does not be perfect. Just, just a reference line here, draw a little line here. And then we'll draw a little line on this side. So this is now approximately, this point here is one inch away from either side. And I'm gonna take my chisel that I want to use and then place it along that line. have it. I have that first mark set. So I hope you can see this mark clearly. All right, I'm going to use this mark to set the first set of cutters on the gauge. So I'll cut this cutter number one, okay, number one, and number two. I'll use these two cutters to set the distance here. So I'm adjusting it it's just by hammering it back and forth. That's pretty good. So the first one is set. Now I'm going to set uh, the second line here, or cutter number two here. So about an inch off here. So I'll go, let's go hammer this out. All right, about less than a millimeter away. So just a light tap here. Okay, so now these two cutters, um, cutter one here and cutter two here are pretty much set to the exact width. So once they're set, let me show you what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna take these cutters, I'm just gonna run them along the side like this. Okay. So there's the first line. And then run the cutter number two, same thing. Just a tiny bit off, I think that'll be all right. So now I have three sized um, set. Now I'm gonna use uh, cutter number three and cutter number four here to set this line and this line. So I'm gonna put cutter number three directly into this line here. And it's just a little bit. Okay, so that's right in that line. And then cutter number four, cutter number four here, I will set to the angle here. It's the approximate position of line right here is about where I want to set cutter number four. Yep. 
Not too far that other way. Okay. So that's pretty much right on that line. Cutter number three goes here. And then cutter number four is going to go right here. This line here is set by cutter number one. This line here is set by cutter number two. This line here is cut, set by cutter number three. And this one here is number four. I'll show you, how, show you how easy this can be once you have it all set. Okay. So now I have number three pulled all the way out. And what I'm going to do is find the angle that I need here. So I have an 8 degree angle set, all right? and then it's got a slant um, outwards in two directions. Okay. So there's that one angle here, I'll show you that 8 degree angle. So this distance from here to here is about one quarter of an inch. So what I need to do to make the mark on this back side here, it's very easy. I'm going to use the offset plate. Because I know this is now offset by one quarter of an inch. I'll take my setting that I've used, say one, two, three, four setting, and I'm going to take my offset plate here. And the offset plate has a, the plate itself is one eighth of an inch thick. So I need to offset it by a quarter. So I have another insert here. This is also one eighth of an inch. Okay. And just put them both on here like this on top of the plate. And then put this pin through so it just stays put. Okay. So now I've offset all of these by one quarter of an inch by using the offset plate. So here's our corner that we were working on. I'm going to go ahead and just turn this over and show you how easy it is to mark. So turn this way, we'll mark our one. And cut our two. three and cutter four okay so here is cutter uh, one or one two three and four this eight degree line that I had made this one here so if I follow that line down It should be right on the other one, or pretty close to it. Okay. So there you go. It's pretty close to where that line is. So I'm going to go ahead and make the mortises here, I think. I think this second line you see here, this is for me accidentally scratching it, uh, leaving some space. So we'll go with the inner line and not this outer line. So when I'm working normally, I would be standing and marking and it won't be so awkward. Um, as you can see, this is the back one we just marked. I'm going to go ahead and mark all three since I have this thing set and just show you how easy that is when you're doing it. Uh, or when I'm doing it, just not having to do it for the camera. So one, two, three. So now I have all four sides of the, this is the back side. And then I can go ahead and mark the front side for you as well. So all I have to do is just take this plate off. It's uh, June right now, or 1st of July. 
So this thing is <laughs> it's expanded quite a bit bigger than when I finished it in the winter time. So I won't need the offset plate. I'll just need this. Take these off. Top side, all four of these marked out. We got the bottom side all marked out. I'm gonna go ahead and make these holes right now. So I just finished making the four mortises in here, and the front side and the back side. They're offset by a quarter of an inch. And to show you the offset, I've got these pencils here. So if you look at them like this. see that they are splayed in this direction and if you look at them this way okay, and again put them up to the one edge they are splayed in this direction now I want to show you how to make the uh, tenons to fit now so the tenons uh, again, the same ones that I use to mark here, cutter one and cutter two. Okay, cutter one, cutter two. I'm going to use these two cutters and the offset plate to mark the tenons. So I'm going to. You see that this is being uh, just as wide, about three quarters of an inch. So I want to shift that, place that right about here. So I want to place the 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 tenon right about the middle, and. And this gap here, okay, this gap between the cutter and or between the fence and the piece of wood on the inside face here, that's what I need to fill in. So I already measure that distance, and that distance for me is going to be uh, half plus a quarter plus an eighth. And this is actually really easy. So I'll up against the plate, for the uh, reference face. Again, when you're doing it, this will be a lot easier because you're not doing it for the camera. It's a vertical line there. Vertical line there. I'll mark the back side here. Using the same reference face. Vertical line here. Careful not to get your finger cut. Okay, now this this top's gonna be a little weird. Let's see if I'm trying to get an angle where you can actually see this. Maybe I'll just zoom out. So hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna mark the top like this. And mark the other line like this. So on my line, oh, this line looks kind of crappy. Let me see, do it again. A strange angle. Hey, I think you get the point. All right, so I have the lines marked here. One zoom. Okay, so I've got the four lines marked or the, the tenon mark right here. Okay. And so this is the outer face, the reference face. Oops. There's that line there. And that line there. So I basically have my tenon marked out without having to do any shift or any changes to my first setting, except using the uh, the offset place offset. Excuse me. Except using the offset plate to move the position of the cutters around. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just finished cutting these. 
and I'm gonna put this together and hopefully you'll see what the sort of the, the idea what these angle chairs look like. There it is. Hopefully you can see that. So you see there's an angle on this side and an angle on this side here. And make it easier for you to see that angle. So here's like 90 degrees, give or take. So these, all of these are going to be off-center from that 90 degrees. <laughs> 